Okay, so hello fellow evolving males and girls. We're here for another day of Let's Rip the Dash Apart. So today I've got maybe I got this and I want to hook up some external power. I've got a USB A, B, whatever it is, and USB C. Um, so I want to stick it inside the cubby right here so that when I um, also gives me a good excuse to clean this crap out. But so when i am got something up here, I can charge it with, um, I can charge it without having to have all these cables around. And I vote it. I vote it. It didn't work, but I vote it. Um, anyway, didn't matter, I guess. So um, I gotta rip all this crap out of my my cubby. If you're like me, you got a bunch of junk up here. Some change. All right. So now, in order to do this, I don't really know what's involved. I know we gotta get in there. So I don't know how this thing's still in one piece because I've torn this thing up a million times. But um, we're gonna. It's always so pleasantly, brutally loud. And I may go ahead and just get this out of the way. Unplug these things right here. I unplug this one. I'm gonna unplug this one. I got the whole piece, whole piece. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this in the back seat with the 5,000 other things I got back there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the bezel off. These two. Two black screws that are on the on the black um, plastic, and that's going to go ahead and it's going to release the bezel. All right, bezel off. Screws. I normally stick the screws up there, but that's probably not a proper option today. So um, I need something to stick some screws in. I don't know what I'm going to stick the screws in. I guess the, um, the cup holder. So now I gotta take the radio off yet again. So you got four screws on the corner here. This is one of the scarier mods to date because I'm gonna cut through the uh, upper dash with something. I'm trying to make a nice, perfectly sized rounded hole. Um, you'll see that there is a lip here and this screw that goes on to keep it tight. Hopefully that keeps it tight, but I need to, so I need to drill a hole. I need to put a hole like this will go in, but this will stop on, so it needs to be about just a little thicker than that. Looks like about an inch, I'll measure it later. I'll go ahead and pull the radio out. Hang the radio down, try not to scratch everything. So now what I gotta figure out is where can I put a hole up here? Well, it looks like I can do a hole about anywhere. But then my only other concern is how far back does the radio go? This thing goes down. Looks like I'll clear it if I just stick it in the middle. If I stick it in the middle right there, I'm good. I don't wanna stick it way over here because I don't wanna block it. I'm looking at cutting the hole right about there. Let me go ahead and take my drive camera down. Take my drive camera down, unplug it for a minute, stick that there. Um, and so I need to drill a hole. So what I need to do is I need to go get a measuring tape and figure out how the hell I'm gonna cut a hole this big. So I'll be right back, just uh, bear with me. Okay, so my solution here partly is to let the windshield down and all but one windshield bolt is loose, which is really kind of weird because I've never had the windshield down and I can't even take the windshield all the way down to have a camera mount to it. The wires are too tight but I can get it down somewhat. Let me check it out. I 
gotta find something to prop it up. Okay, so that was a little weird, but interesting nonetheless. So I just got a bottle over there holding the windshield up. Um, I just got to find a place to cut in. There's a hole right here. But I don't think that's going to suffice. I want to go over here a little bit more. But I got a drill. My idea is to just drill in it. Here we go. Just wild ass gas. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna mark it. So I'm gonna mark it with this. I'm gonna put this down and kind of go around the inside. Right, I'm gonna center up with that hole I got. I might have to true it up a little bit with a um, <clears throat> with a uh, knife or something, but I'm gonna I'll show you in a second. So I've made a few holes around this thing. I'm going to take you in for a little look. So we're going to come in for a little look right there. So I'm this crap all over. So I got all these holes. I'm going to take a, a razor knife. Can you see that? I'm going to take a razor knife and I'm going to go around, try to cut those holes around. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. And hopefully I don't screw it up. Okay, so I just vacuumed it out as best I could get. I'm going to take you in for a little look. Let's uh, reverse. We got a little, little hole here. So what I did is I drilled the hole center, but that didn't matter. And I went do -do 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 around, and then I just put the drill in there, and I pushed over until it drilled through, kind of like a router bit, and I just drilled around. Now... I'm going to put this top back on, push it in there, there you go. So when I want to use it, it'll be right there, I'll center it up, and um, now i got to put the, um, the nut, whatever I did with the nut, somewhere around here, got to find the nut, oh here it is, I'll just put the nut on the inside down here, right there. And I can go ahead and wire it up, and I'll show you where I'm going to wire it up to in a minute, as soon as I figure it out. So, hold still. Okay, so I took this off, and I cut a hole in it, so I can put this back on. I haven't had this back on. I actually cut it. It's a little short over here. Kind of sucks, but I never had it in there. No one can see up in there, so I ain't too worried about it. So I'm going to put that back in, and then we'll do the wiring up, and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, so right here is the wire for the um, that goes into the cigarette lighter, and I have um, put a tap in there, and I had this uh, recorded, but I guess I didn't actually record it when I did it. I thought I was recording, I was talking to nothing, but so I'm doing a voiceover right now. But that little blue thing right there is I am I have a wire tap in there, but I only have one, so I'm peeling back some of the <clears throat> some of the the cover on the uh, black wire, which is the um, which is the uh, ground. So you have a like a pink and a yellow, I think it was, is the um, power wire, and there's like an orange and something coming out. I don't know what that is, but it does nothing. So I tested it with a meter, and the pink wire is uh, is the hot, and the black is the ground. The two bigger wires are, are the power and the ground. So I put a little um, inline um, 
clip kind of a you know one of the little blue clips and put that in there for the power and then I'm just gonna like um, peel off some of this wrap the ground around it put some tape on it and that's what I did just right into the um, right into the wire that is for the uh, cigarette cigarette um, plug-in so that's the best way to do it. They do sell a little connector for about $29, $30 you can get where it has like a Y and you plug it in and all that. But that ain't worth 30 bucks for me. So it's a I got a $15 modification here. I don't want to spend twice that just to, just to do it. So I, I'm right there. I'm wiring it in. And um, I'm just wrapping, wrapping the um, black on there. Uh, onto the you know the, the ground onto the ground and the grounds are pretty simple so there's no no danger there I'm gonna put a little tape on there I'm gonna tape the whole thing together so it's um, stays nice and uh, copacetic it doesn't go anywhere I'm gonna wire uh, put it all back together and um, and then you'll uh, you'll see that it's working and we'll we'll take a look at that in here in a second. If you look up in the right hand corner of my screen, you'll see that it's charging. Now I'm going to unplug it, and it's not charging. I'm going to plug it back in, and there you go, it's charging. So that does work. So let's go back and see what I did. I actually had to switch the wires on. Sorry about that uh, air blowing on you. Can't. I got the controls off, and I can't stop it. Okay, so I'm putting some tape back on here on these wires just a little bit. Just to hold them uh, you know I always say tape is cheap and that's really doing nothing but holding the um, holding the wires in there and holding the covers on there and just holding everything down so now I'm gonna go ahead and put the radio back in get my cord out of the way I'm gonna put my radio back in this is cool too because sometimes when I plug the phone in especially my my Apple phone Apple's a pain in the butt it just takes over and like it just wants to take over the phone like the truck and I'm trying to listen to XM and I'm all I'm just trying to do is charge my phone but stupid Apple is taking over my XM radio and and it just especially with my wife's phone but it just irritates the crap out of me so this way if I don't want Android Auto running and I don't feel like going in and turning it off I just charge the phone in a different spot now I could have put I could have tapped that into the USB and, and all that, but so I could use the Android Auto up there, but I don't really need to because I have navigation and um, I just, it was more work and I couldn't figure out how to do that, so I just didn't do it. So, whatever, whatever. I'm happy with what it is. Um, it'll give me another reason to tear it on the dash maybe some other day. So, we're putting that back on. Now, I got that back on. This is for that. Just got a stick. A stick these in there. So 
good news is the radio fits. Just got one. This dash is getting so used to me pulling apart. Pretty soon, it's just gonna just gonna jump out. No, I hope not, because that would suck, right? Um, so now, put the bezel back in. I'll pull this up right there. These things are cool. If you haven't seen that video, go back and watch. It's a little LED piping or um, trim. It's pretty neat stuff. I mean, once it's in there, it takes me a couple days to get it in there just driving around. I, I never I never seem to just do it while I'm sitting here. It's something to do while I'm stuck in traffic. So, put that back in. Put this back in. That's pretty much it. Now we're just going to plug the uh, temperature controls and stuff in there. We're going to look. I hit the. Now we're going to plug this one in. And if you guys have seen my other videos and you want to know how to put this thing back in right, it has a little lip right here. I talk about it all the time. Right here is a little lip, and if you try to put this in straight or in the crooked to the right. It, it the lip won't it'll be sticking out and you'll it'll be weird looking so what you got to do is you got to put this in the hole first and then just kind of put it in crooked this side has to go in first um, you got to kind of get around get it around the lip it's, it's a little bit of a pain you pull this bottom you pull this bottom piece out here a little bit and that helps and then just push it in I mean that's can't ask that's it dash is back together man how cool is that right so now all we got to do is um, take a look and then we'll put the uh, screws back in for the windshield go look so we got power here so basically when I don't when I want it waterproofed for whatever reason look at that that looks that looks like it should have came like that right it looks like it should have came like that so I'm gonna come over here gonna fold my windshield I didn't feel like taking all the stuff off the windshield to lay it down all the way so we're gonna put the windshield up hold on a second okay I had to I have a camera up there and I have to um I got cameras everywhere and um, I just gotta get it out of the way so now you just put your bolts in and you know this time unlike the person there's the bolt hole four bolts and you lay the windshield down now if you want to lay the windshield down you do have to take off the um you do have to take off the um wipers and in my case um i'd have to take off the uh have to take off the uh, light bar or come up with a solution for that which i haven't done yet because i haven't had to, I haven't had to do it or haven't done it so we're just going to go ahead and put these in, and we'll be done. Okay, guys. There you go. We've got it. I just got to put my drive camera back on, and I'm good to go. Um, so when you want to you just pull this little rubber thing up here, you got your... You got your... Uh, dang it. Yep. You got your USB and USB-C, just like... Just like the ones down there, but now I can get rid of this. Leave my flap closed. So um, there you go. Whew, it's hot outside. So as always, guys, thank you for um, stopping in, taking a look. This is a pretty quick video for the most part. Um, I really appreciate it, guys. Please hit like and subscribe. Some of these videos I've got got they got you know 17,000 views, and uh, you know I'm still down below uh, around 400 subscribers. So I need to get to a thousand. Um, so please hit like and subscribe if you like the video. If you don't like the video and you like seeing how much of an idiot I am and how much I mess up and do stuff and hurt myself and all that kind of stuff and what not to do or how to get there but not to, what not to do to get there, just to skip all the other stuff that I just talked about, um, subscribe. Like, subscribe. You don't even have to hit like. I don't even care. Subscribe. But I really want, I hope you guys enjoy it, really, in all seriousness. And um, keep coming back. Um, going uh, camping next week. Got a video coming up for that. So um, put your notifications on, and I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.